Hey traders, welcome back to the channel. I'm Dave and here's Code to Trade, a place to learn Python script, build awesome trading tools and level up your trading game. And as you know, no programming experience is needed. In our last video, we built a custom multi-MA indicator and let's be honest, that was kind of fun, right? In today's video, we're going one step further. We're going to build an indicator that gives us buy and sell signals based on EMA crossovers. And even better, it will alert us when it happens. Now, EMA crossovers are one of the first strategies that most traders come across. For example, when the 100 EMA crosses above the 200 EMA, it is a classic sign that the short-term momentum is going bullish, and that could be your signal to look for buying opportunities. But hold on, while this strategy works great in trending market, it can give us false signals in sideways or choppy conditions. So what I recommend is use this crossover signal as an alert and combine it with other tools like RSI, market structure or volume to confirm the entries. Now let's see how we're going to build this. So in order to do that, we need the pine editor on the trading view and we can access that by clicking here and by clicking new indicator. So PinoScript is the trading views built-in language for creating indicators and strategies. But don't worry, today we're not writing this code from scratch. And just like the last time, we're going to ask ChatGPT to generate the code for us. And I'll be showing you how to tweak it, understand it, and make it your own. Now let's go to the ChatGPT.com and give ChatGPT a simple prompt to create a buy and sell indicator based on EMA crossovers. So it will generate the code for us and now we can hit copy and paste it in our Pine script editor. Now let's break it down line by line just so you understand how this work and you can build it later if you want. So at the top you see that the version is equal to 5 which defines our Pine script version and if you ever need to upgrade it to version 6 which is the latest version now. You just have to click on this icon and convert to version 6. You need to save the file and click apply. And if you see now, our version is converted to version 6. In the next line of code, we see the indicator function. In PineScript, we have indicators and strategies. Indicators are used when you want to add something visually to the chart. And strategies are mostly used for backtesting. So in this case, we are plotting some signals in the chart, so we use indicator. In the next lines, we have the inputs for the indicator, which allow the user to customize the indicator in the setting panel of the indicator, and we don't need to come to the code every time that we need to customize it. Next, we have the calculation of the EMA, and we have this ta.ema function, which calculates the exponential moving average of the closing price on the given length. And after that, we use plot to draw the EMAs on the chart. In the next lines, we define the buy and sell condition for our indicator. With ta.crossover function, we say that if the fast EMA crosses above the slow EMA, we want a buy signal. And if the fast EMA crosses below the, the slow EMA, we want a sell signal. And by plot.shape, we actually draw the buy and sell signals. And with these lines of code, we add alerts to the chart, so we don't have to stare at the chart all the time. Once we're done with that, we can hit Command S or Control S on Windows in order to save the file, and we can add this indicator to our chart. And boom, we have a working buy and sell indicator. And you can go to the setting of it and change the lengths of the fast and slow EMA. You can also set alerts on this indicator by clicking on this alert icon and changing the conditions and boom, you're covered. Again, this strategy can work really well in the trending market as you see in these examples and not very well in the choppy market situation. So what I recommend is combine it with RSI, market structure or support and resistance levels for better accuracy. So that's it for this video. Thanks for watching. 
If you found this video helpful, hit the like button, drop a comment if you want me to add another indicator to this, and subscribe to my channel for more Pine script tutorials and trading tools. Catch you in the next one, and happy trading!